guys, welcome to Baby Bat Diaries entry number four. Um, today I'm going to be talking about an opinion of mine. So I, I have had a couple questions regarding whether or not I truly think that pastel goth should be considered real goth. And I think that's kind of a ridiculous question, personally, because what is real goth? Like, if it has changed so much over the last years, the, like the decades, obviously I can't remember back to the 80s because I was not conceived, but <laughs> um, I've seen through all sorts of social media and the internet and from old photographs of my parents' goth friends, it is, the scene has changed quite a bit. Now, do I think that pastel goth should be real, traditional goth? I mean, if you're looking at it in the sense that should it be called traditional goth, as in does it look like the original gothic people from the late 70s, early 80s, when, this, when the subculture first started, then no. But today, we have so many different kinds of subgroups inside the gothic subculture. Our subculture has changed tremendously over the last decade and I think that as we continue to evolve the pastel goth and even like the new hipster goth or the new goth I guess uh, I think it's like the same title for um or two different titles for the same thing um I think that it will evolve into our culture. I think that we as a subculture are so open to different things, well most of us are open to different things, there are obviously going to be a bunch of elitists who are kind of like, oh no, hmm, oh, gothic, hmm. and I, I used, I did used to have that mindset until I started doing a lot more research and looking at some of the fashion, because some of it is really interesting, it's very interesting, I, I would consider wearing some of the more hipster goth fashion during the summer, because it has, I don't know, it has like a lighter lighter quality clothing, like lighter clothing than, say, the, you know, my velvet, velveteen, Victorian trains and whatnot. So, that being said, I do think that nowadays, I think we should kind of, I think we could start incorporating pastel goth and new goth into our lives. I don't think I really don't, obviously there's going to be people out there telling you that, you know, you, you, to be a goth you have to dress a certain way, and I think that's kind of ridiculous. I think you, if you want to, cons if you consider yourself goth, if you listen to, like, the music, you listen to, like, you know, The Cure, and Susie Banshee's, Bauhaus, um, and you like Victorian literature, and, you know, or have, like, certain aesthetics to yourself that fit in with the gothic subculture, but you dress pastel goth, I think you should, if you want to consider yourself a goth, then by all means, do so. I don't, I don't think people should dictate how, like, dictate what subculture you are a part of based on, solely based on what you look like, because I think that's kind of ridiculous. Um, obviously, I'm not telling you, obviously, this video is not saying, like, you know, you must be like this to be considered a goth. I think you should dress however the hell you want. I don't really care. Um, I'm, and I'm not saying that you aren't like past that's I'm saying the exact opposite, in fact. And I do hope that the gothic subculture becomes a little bit more open because I think some of the fashion there is kind of interesting. There's obviously there's elements of spook and fright and creepy cuteness that is there. It's kind of like the bubble goth or whatever, which is a whole different thing that I'm not particularly wanting to get into at the moment. But, um, I think that we have, I don't think that people who are being, like, slammed for being not a real goth because you dress in a new goth or pastel goth, I, my message to you is don't listen to them. They're not, it doesn't really matter. They aren't, they're just probably, they're either people in real life who you can walk away from, or they're people in over the internet who are just being complete assholes and you shouldn't listen to them anyways because they probably don't have a lot of time on their hands, or they have too much time on their hands to be criticizing you for your beautiful clothing that is your own personal style and part of who you are. I know I got a lot of shit from my parents and from my friends and stuff when I started dressing like this, or maybe not so much my parents, but like people just in school and stuff, I got a lot of shit for that, so I'm, I don't think we should perpetuate this, this stereotype of 
being mean and rude to people who are expressing who they want to be. It just, I don't know, I don't think it's right, and I think people should dress however they want. I don't, I don't understand why it's such a big deal, but I'm going to cut myself off here before I start ranting, and this is 12 minutes long. So, final summary, I do think that in the future, pastel goth and new goth will be much more accepted into the gothic subculture. Right now, from what I've seen, mainly on Tumblr, because that's where everything is, it's kind of starting to get a little bit more recognition. I think there's more of a backing behind it. I've seen videos on YouTube. Um, so I think you guys are on your way. Um, it does help that there's a, now a bit of a music genre genre behind it, which house. Um, it's all right. And it's more of the electronic music. I do think that's kind of a good driving force because um, I didn't actually know there was music behind it before now. And I'll put some links for uh, various witch house bands and stuff, like music, if you guys want to check it out. So, yeah, I, that's, I don't think people should be assholes about whether or not you're a real goth or not. So, that is my opinion. If you agree with me, if you disagree with me, if you think I'm a complete idiot, send me a comment, leave me a video response, and we will have a very civilized discussion. Okay, bye guys.